Well, wouldn't it be wicked if just saw, just for a moment, dog man poke his head through that, through that window over there? Yeah, so someone in the corner here, am I right? Turn the lights off. Welcome to Dogman TP Hunting. This investigation is going to be of the lost village of Blancout, which is on the border of Wales and England. All that's left is a church, and we shall be getting there via this path. Access is only possible to the village by boat or by rough way known as the Fisherman's Path. It runs along the front of the cliffs. So join me as we look for any paranormal in the lost village of Lancout. If you see or hear anything unusual, let me know in the comments. Thank you. Oh, that's steep. Yeah. Wouldn't want to drop down there. Yeah, I'll keep on the path, Phil. It's only a little narrow path as well. I can put these stones sticking out as well, it's just to make it a bit easier. Just in case I don't trip on my own feet, I can trip on those. Very nice. Oh boy, it is beautiful there. All of this was a uh, quarry. All of it was quarry area. Go up here a little bit. Uh. 
Yeah. As you can see. All slate. All slate quarry area. Just on the border of England and Wales at the moment. Yeah, hard going. It's hard going back in those days. We go. See bits of quality everywhere. This path will lead us to an abandoned village. And I'll give you some history. Bordered by steep limestone cliffs, Lankau is quite literally a lost place. The ruins of St James's Church are all that remain of a medieval village, a silent reminder that for centuries people farmed, fished and worshipped here. There has been a place of worship here since at least 625 AD, making it one of the earliest sites of Christian activity in the Wye Valley. Just a free hole to go through the other side, I think. Oh, well. Onward and Full of the hour, I guess. Wow, oh, this is rocky. Could be part mountain goat. I have to be part mountain goat. So this would have been the main path from the village we're going to. Um, to the next biggest village. So every time they wanted to uh, nip out for a pint of milk or a loaf of bread, they come this way. Only kidding. But yeah, this would be the path they would have to take between villages. It's a lovely fern.
try them desperately not to slip. So I didn't land on my bum. I'm sure no one would love. It's always the way when it'll be, not the most difficult part, slipping. It'll be once I think it's all over and I'm just walking along normally and boom, it's it, okay. Yeah. But kind of like proper steps here, if you know. Remember on this uh, on this track, if you see anything, hear anything, let me know in the comments, okay? Because you are my eyes and ears. Because I'm too busy trying not to fall over. Right. Turkey. See that, mate. You know, if only Basil and Ruby were here, they'd love that. And we're chasing that all over, over the field. Being pecked to death. I know who'd win the turkey. The pheasant. I'm the same turkey. It's interesting. This has been here for a long time, this one. stones inside when usually I often find their uh, stumps I don't know if they're seats or maybe they use them 
like we would have done. Oh, it's burn marks there. Um, you know, to chop things, break things. Once again, see, look. Charred there. I can't actually see any sign of any fire. That's just soil kicked up. So you've got burning, but nothing at all on the ground. Okay, let's move on. The original church was dedicated to Saint Seward, a Welsh saint. He may have been a monk who helped spread Christianity inland along the Wye, from the centre of religious learning in Lancarven, in the Vale of Gulmorgan. Alternatively, Christianity may have expanded down the Wye from Archenfield in Herefordshire, which has been a stronghold of Celtic Christianity since Roman times. These churches were often built in isolated locations, beside water and a day's walk apart, almost completely surrounded by the river. The Lankau Peninsula was an ideal location. Historical references suggest there may have been an early monastic community here, but recent archaeological investigations have raised more questions than answers. Although numerous burials have been identified, around the church. Gravestones. Life of June. Did it in 1739. Wow, this is absolutely lovely. The original is very old. It's a stands, sandstone. That's quite new, or newish. Take a 
little walk around it. Can't see anything, but you can never tell. You can never tell. More and more as well, I've been having sightings and followers um, have been seeing my, in a lot of my videos. Um, they're hanging around in trees. Do you know what? When I was walking down, I don't know if the camera picked it up, but as I was coming down, I could have swore footprints there. And there. I could have swore that I heard talking, people talking. But There's nobody here except me. Hope the camera picked it up. If you heard it, just like mumble talking like there was somebody either in that church or somewhere off maybe to the side. But I heard somebody, so much so, I thought, oh, um, I better make a noise just to make sure they know I'm here, you know? Um, yeah, but it's quite sort of quiet and secluded here, so, um, right, I don't think anyone's in, I could be wrong, right. let's have a look. It's got this little one. If anyone knows what that is, is it a font? Would that be like a font, maybe? Okay. Remember, if you see anything, hear anything, let me know in the comments, okay? Records show that the River Wye provided an easy route inland for Viking raiders, who in 914 took the Bishop of Archenfield prisoner for a ransom of £400. The Vikings may have destroyed the original church, as the one you see today was probably built by the Lord of Chepstow Castle around 1067 and given its dedication to St James at this time. A piscina is a shallow basin placed near the altar of a church or else in the vestry or sacristy, used for washing the communion vessels. You've got spiders, I suppose. Oh, 
has collapsed. The church became the focal point of the medieval village, which grew up around it. It is difficult to know if the village was English or Welsh. Its name suggests it was Welsh. Lian is the old Welsh word for church or land consecrated for burials, although it is on the wrong side of the river, which forms today's boundary between England and Wales. Lancout had ten, had ten tenants in 1551. It had 19 communicants church members and in 1563 it had five houses in 1710 there were four families living in Lancout and only two inhabited houses by 1750 a cottage and fish house on the riverbank was mentioned in 1815 although unoccupied in 1839 and ruinous in 1969 the church fell into ruin from 1865. We don't know why the village died. Perhaps life in this isolated village became too much of a struggle. As the number of villagers declined, so did the services. In the church and from the 1750s, only 12 services a year were held but the church remained a favourite resort well into the 19th century when Eleanor Ormond described how the congregation were packed as tightly as could be managed so that we all had to get up and sit down together. Eleanor's father, George Ormond, was a local antiquarian who recorded details of the church in the 1840s and 1850s. Its tall pulpit, box pews and tiny bell cot. In 1865 the church was fully abandoned and furnishings were moved and the roof dismantled. EMF next to nothing. Okay, let's call it. There you go, some spirit. Anyone here? Any beings? Any entities? You'd like to talk into that box down there? Or if you come close to this box, I'll know that you're here. You'd like to show yourself. This also goes for any cryptids, dogmen, any paranormal. Nothing here. Very low. Still very low. Is anything here? Anyone here? Like themselves to be known? Like show themselves. Talk into that box over there. We'll come close to this box. It's been a long time since you've communicated. If you'd like to communicate, please do so. My name's Phil. Mean you no harm. Just want to understand. And I've got a theory. The theory is I'd like to ask you is cryptics, dog man, ghost, paranormal in general. I think it's all connected. One single origin. Wow, that's going garrity there. Right, I guess there's someone in the corner here. Am I right? Turn the lights off. Wow, there's a lot of going on here. Did you die here? Were you, were you a father here, a priest? Wow, 
That's lighting up like a Christmas tree. Okay, hang on. Let me just try something. Let me just try something. I'll put that up there. Okay. It's not my watch, because my watch is on my other wrist. So it's not that. All right, I've been holding it with that hand. I've got nothing at all on that one. Nothing. Okay, let's go and really go out here. So let's have a look. Thank you very much for lighting up the lights. See, the reading now is just normal on the EMF. So I would say at the accuracy of this is far greater than that. I really wouldn't take the normal K2 as being an accurate gauge of electromagnetic um, frequency, EMF. I mean, look, it's going really. Thank you for lighting it up. Can you make this one? This one's exactly the same. Just come closer. Electrical, electrical frequency, nothing. Radio frequency, very high. That's radio frequency. That can be coming from um, uh, a walkie-talkie, um, anything like a walkie-talkie, cell tower, um, Wi-Fi hub which would not be here, I think. And that's high. That's the only thing which they're both showing high. Okay, that's odd. But it shouldn't really be that. That K2 is for uh, milligauss, which is really for electromagnetic, not radio frequency. Nothing on the uh, EMF on this one. Okay. Thank you for the light and the lights up. Oh, just that corner, just with the K2. The radio frequency is very high as well. Let's see if it does the same thing. So that was just radio, radio frequency. Let's see. This should be just electromagnetic. Yeah, once again. I'm not getting anything on the uh, other one. Anyone here in this corner? Anybody here in the corner? Talk into this box I'm holding. Lovely old church.
Well, they put the windows on the right side, I know that. Nice view. Maybe if you see anything, let me know. Thanks for having me. Rest in peace. We have a lovely view here. Shan't bother you anymore. services still held here 1930s would you have um, would you believe it and count on the exterior of the lead font which is now in Gloucester Cathedral land count that's 
Well, there's St. James's Church, Lancount. Lovely church as well. Okay. Right then. Could have swore I heard voices though. Right, off we go. Turkey just got disturbed then. I just want to go this way. I didn't come this way. I just want to go this way. Just... While I'm here, well, we'll just have a look, you know. Okay, it just leads up to the field up there. Okay. Very lovely. Steep. Yeah. Well, it's very steep. Oh, look at that one over there. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely pheasant, lovely, lovely pheasant, beautiful creature, Martins are lovely, right, 
Or is that a grouse? I'm not too sure. Once again, let me know in the comments. That just shows my... Uh, uh, <laughs> um, my knowledge of... Uh, my knowledge of uh, wild, of uh, bird wildlife, you know? <laughs> my avian knowledge. It's Dogman TP Hunting. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed making it. Although well, it was a trudge up that hill. You've got to be fit. That was a trudge and I'm not fit. But nevertheless, really enjoyed it. Um, lovely church. Uh, if you saw anything, heard anything, leave a comment. Um, if you want to leave a comment anyway, just say hi, that's great. Uh, and like and share and subscribe. It really helps the channel um, so we can bring some more content that hopefully you will enjoy. Okay, uh, from him and me, bye bye.